Hey y'all, welcome back to the Pink Envelope. I have my final literary book club of the year. Mm, that kind of makes me sad, I can't believe we're saying year end, even though I've been saying it for a few videos now, it still feels so weird. But literary book club is a quarterly box, so it only pops up four times a year. I am gonna be spoiling the December box, which I already know a little bit about, and I'm super excited. It is $74.99, shipping's $11.95 in the US, and if you use coupon code DPINKENVELOPE, you get $5 off your first book in the subscription. So here's the deal. This one should still be live. There should still be boxes available. This box always sells out super fast. She ordered extras. <laughs> So I'm hoping you can just hop on and subscribe, go down below and do it. In the case that you cannot, you're going to want to join her wait list because the wait list will get an email first to subscribe to the box, but it won't save the coupon code. You've got to save the coupon code. So either screenshot it here now or just come back to the subscription box directory. You can go to my website. You can type in literary and it'll pop up and give you the coupon code, but you do need to keep up with that just in case it sells out. And this is a luxury book box for old souls and romantics. It ships March, June, September, and I'm showing you December now. And it's a quarterly luxury literary subscription box featuring collectible editions of classic books wrapped in page numbered gifts that you open as you go along. So on top here, you always have this guy and this guy has like all of your little supplies to read. Your bookmark, which is gorgeous front and back, by the way your sticker, and your book plate. As you noticed, all three of these things match. This is the theme, nothing, nothing in the box is random. Every ounce of everything, including the box itself, is curated towards the theme of the book. You also see that there are Jane Austen quotes on both of those things. Automatically is our first clue that this is something to do with Jane Austen. Next, you will open your wax sealed envelope and inside you have a frameable art card that has a note from the curator and an overview on the book. isn't curating specifically to match the theme. And if you're an old soul like me, I mean, I love modern things as well, like modern books, read them all the time, but I really do appreciate this. You're gonna love this box. Uh, for the record, my daughter's name is Emma, named after what book? My other daughter's name, Paige. Yeah, quite literal, but I love books. My niece is named Jane. We are sisters who grew up with the class classics and we love, love, love them. So we have a gift for page 19, a gift for while we read, a gift for page 416. Also, I would like to say something in this box smells so, so, so good. We have our book. We have a gift that says, open when the last page has been read. And then as always at the bottom, oh no, just kidding. This says open on page 191. And then as always at the bottom, you can dig down to get your frameable art that goes with the book for this season, which of course matches everything else we've gotten. And then at the very bottom, she always puts the itemized in the box so that it does not spoil anything. So I wanna open these to show you what you can get in your different gifts. We'll start with our book first. Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. Book has a retail value of $25 and as you can see, it is absolutely gorgeous. I, as a child growing up, watched the movie Mansfield Park. Actually, there are two of them. I watched one more than the other, but I watched them both. Once a week, like I'm not kidding you, it was extremely frequent. Just love the storyline, love the characters, love everything about it. I've only read the book a handful of times in my life, and it's actually so much better. 
but it's a complex book to read and watching the movie is just easier. Now I think there's like three different ones that you can watch. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of the, the old school ones. While we read, we have Decaf Reading Nook Tea, a black tea. It's actually really pretty. Let me turn it around so you can see it better. Looks like a little potpourri. Okay, can't do this one. This is the last one. This is page 19. Let's do this one first. Gooseberry candy. Carefully balance the tart gooseberry with just enough sugar to make it delicious. Oh my gosh, those do sound delightful. I love sweet and sour. They're made in North Carolina by a small company. Love. So if you haven't read the book, there is a character named Lady Bertram and she is like all things swooning and overwhelmed by everything. And she's always sitting in her chair with her little pug dog, snacking, teeing, sleeping. And so at this point in the book, she is snacking on this exact candy. So what I love about this is it's not like a thing that's close enough. They get very literal examples from the book. So then you can start eating these candies while you're reading that chapter about that. I just like think it's so, so brilliant, this concept. And I love how well Literary Book Club in particular implements it. Okay, page 191 is next. Even the bag, y'all, even the bag has a Jane Austen quote on it. So crazy. But indeed, I would rather have nothing but tea. Jane Austen. It's a tea towel. It's a super cute cotton, like watercolor inspired tea towel with a Jane Austen quote on it. Super, super cute. So let's slide this guy over here. We have page 416. I don't know. I mean, I could look in the book and try to remember what part of the book that goes with. It's not coming to mind quickly. I'll think on it. 416 has, oh, this is what smells so good. A hand poured soy candle. The literal scent is called the library. Old books, eucalyptus, and lavender. You guys, that is so cool. I don't know where she finds this stuff. Oh yeah, this smells so good. It's not overly eucalyptus and it's not overly lavender. Whatever is the old book scent is knocking it down some. And it has a lid, I love it. And then this one says, open when the last page has been read. And it's another book, The Black Moth. Oh, I feel like I've heard of that before. I've not read it. This one has a retail value of $13. And it's still like a pretty book. I mean, obviously not as gorgeous and sophisticated as this one, but we've received a few of these from them and I like soft bound books. I decorate with these, so I'm thankful they're not soft bound, but like when I'm reading, reading, I'm this person who reads books like this. Okay, what I do wanna show you real quick is I have a few of these on that shelf right there that I'm decorating with for Christmas. I'm gonna bring them in here because I want you to just kind of see real quick what the books look like and the style of books she's sending because they're absolutely perfection. So I know there are some of you who like to work on a library curation, like you buy books on whether it's title or maybe spine or whatever. This is one of those boxes that really amps up the library because the books that she sends are stunning. They are decorating worthy books and they follow a, a very specific type of book. So you don't end up with a bunch of randoms. You definitely end up with a coordinated, like these all have the gold spine, like or gold pages. all of these. Here's another one. And I mean, and you get the stickers and the book plates. Uh, here's another one of those books that she sent as a bonus book that matches that guy there. I mean, <gasps> these are, they're truly, truly gorgeous, decorate, read worthy. And just to kind of show you a little, I guess, confession. <laughs> to my addiction. I own <laughs> this beast. Look at this beast. All seven novels are inside here. Tell me if you are a classics reader, what is your favorite classic that you could read time and time again? 
And then for those who are Jane Austen readers, uh, for seven main books, which I, I have them here, Sense and Sensibility, Love, Pride and Prejudice, Love, Mansfield Park, Love, Emma, Love, Persuasion, Love, Northanger Abbey, and what's the other one? What am I missing? You can definitely tell which ones are my favorites. Oh, Lady Susan. Lady Susan and Northanger Abbey, I just never got into fully. I'm not sure why. Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, um, I have probably, in Emma, I've watched every version of the movie a thousand times, like wild. Then Mansfield Park and Persuasion are right behind that. They're like in the hundreds. I mean, literally growing up as a kid, sometimes that's all we watched. My poor dad. But she doesn't send just Jane Austen. Like here is Peter Pan. No, this is Treasure Island. This one's gorgeous. That's Peter Pan. Oh, that's Jane Austen. What's this one? The Tenant of Waffle Hall. The Romantic Poets, the collection. So she doesn't send just Jane Austen, just in case you're like, hey, I'm not that big of a fan. She does mix it up. And then everything truly is this curated. So like, honestly, if you wanted to get it in, read it, enjoy it, and then pass it all as a grouping to a friend, I think they would be so in all. I mean, the gifts, like you would have eaten all the candy. But they could have the cards and everything together. And then when you pass it forward to them, they get this full experience. I would think that would be so, so cute. I've never given up the book. I will not give up the book. But if you're someone who does pay your books forward, that would be so impressive to pay it forward with. Literary Book Club. Excellent job. As always, very impressive. Everything's so pretty. And I'm so excited to read and decorate with these. And y'all, that's about it. I might, as of right now, I have no more videos coming out. That could change because I haven't checked the mail in the last couple of days, so there could be stuff up there. But uh, there's a chance there might not. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, just in case I don't see you again, Merry Christmas. I am hoping and praying specifically that each one of you who hang out over here with me at the pink envelope have a very blessed Christmas, whatever that looks like for you, because I know that'll be very different for each one of us in different stages of our life. And so I wanna say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Make sure that you share this with a friend if you guys can. I'm gonna create a playlist. I'm gonna put that playlist right here. Over the next couple of weeks when I take off to be with my family, YouTube is probably going to get mad at me and penalize me for not posting videos three to five times a week. And I would love to just skip over that part of my job. So if you could put this playlist on the first week that I am on break, which looks like it's gonna be the week of December 17th, I'll definitely post an update on this, but you can also play this on the week of December 23rd. Click that playlist on your phone, your computer, your TV at night, and just let it play through. If you wanna watch it, absolutely do. But don't feel obligated to, but let that playlist play through. That will show YouTube that even though I'm not here and actively releasing, that you guys are still interested in the channel. And I've been told it will really help my channel sustain through the week and a half break that I'm gonna take off to be with my family. I'll post this on Instagram and Facebook on the YouTube community tab as well, but I thought I would go ahead and introduce it and share a little bit of the why here. YouTube has its algorithm and I try to play the game, but during the holidays, my family comes first and so I'll be off with them. You guys are the best. I'm so thankful that I can even ask that. I know there's a lot of people and a lot of channels that couldn't say the same thing and so I'm very thankful that I can come to you guys and share my vulnerabilities and ask for your help in those. All right, you guys, I hope that you do have a very, very Merry Christmas and if you subscribe to the channel, I'll see you after the new year. Bye, y'all.